For me as a mother and a clinician, wanting to preserve the, the mental health of my children in the long term, one of the things I'm thinking a lot about now is if there are stresses that I can't prevent that go beyond what we feel we can handle together, what are the support networks available to me? What are the resources? It would be important for parents to understand the factors which have an impact on mental health in the long run, starting with influences as early as in pregnancy. Stress, especially extreme stress, has a significant impact, certainly on mothers, on families, and on babies and children in the long term. It's also important to understand, though, that stress is a normal part of the reality of life. Some of the stress that we experience with protection and, and buffering from uh, sources of support, um, we can protect ourselves from some of these effects. Given that the foundations for lifelong mental health are laid during the first years of life, mental health disorders are lifelong disorders. 75% start before adulthood and 50% before the age of five. The rate of impairment from mental disorders is the same from preschool age to adulthood. Stress is one thing and on the other side is also resilience. I wish I knew more about it. Mental disorders being the leading cause of disability in the world, it would be important to understand the factors which can prevent and protect children. Progress has been made with other diseases. For example, we have reduced the occurrence of cardiac disease and HIV. With heart disease, we can evaluate the current risk before. There has been a lot of good research being done showing that uh, stress truly impacts not only maternal well-being, but that it can also influence uh, early development. Here is what we already know. Experiences during pregnancy can influence children's well-being. Some children may get protection and or risk factors from their genes. Life events and parent-child interactions influence the development of children. And boys and girls are affected differently. So what we need is knowledge that will improve our understanding of mental disorders and accordingly reduce the stigma that some parents and families and people experience uh, once they appreciate the complexity of factors that are at play. Dream Big is a collaboration of researchers across the world interested in understanding early factors influencing the development of mental illness in children. It has three objectives. The first one is to understand how is prenatal adversity experienced differently as a function of factors that reside in the child, such as their biology, their genetics. For example, in the MAVEN, a study following children from pregnancy to adolescence, it was found that stress during pregnancy influences the child's temperament, attention, and even attachment, depending on the kind of genes the child had. Second, are there any influences once the child is born that actually modify the outcome of these children? Nothing is completely played out. That, you know, parenthood is something that develops over the years. Despite facing challenging developmental environments, some children will grow and make their way into the world, like dandelions. Other more sensitive children require more care in order to be able to make their way. While these children are more susceptible to mental illness in adverse environments, in the right conditions, they can accomplish extraordinary things. We often refer to them as orchids. Thirdly, we want to see if any of these factors can explain some of the divergences in the distribution of psychopathology by gender. For example, ADHD's predominance in boys and depression's predominance in girls. We're really trying to harness the energies and the knowledge of four groups so that we can have better prediction of mental disorders, but also inform early intervention and even prevention at the multiple places where there could actually be meaningful changes in the long-term outcome of children. Let's continue to encourage this research. We can harness the ability of the brain to change itself and help families contribute to the well-being of children.